This is the non-economic news summary. I am Magdalene Ukwedejo. Minister of Budget and Planning, Senator Oduma Oduma, has revealed that Nigeria's total exports appreciated by 59.9% between 2016 and 2017 following the implementation of the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan. Udoma said the non-oil sector accounted for the growth recorded with agricultural sector export growth from 6.7 billion naira in 2016 to 170 billion naira in 2017 and solid minerals export from 44 billion naira in 2016 to 102 billion naira in 2017. Fiscal Responsibility Commission says more than 650 billion naira has so far been remitted as operating surplus into the Consolidated Revenue Fund in the last two years. The Commission, in collaboration with Nigerian Communications Commission, remitted about 49.7 billion naira to the Consolidated Revenue Fund within the first quarter of 2018. The Lagos State Pension Commission has announced the payment of 37.5 billion naira to 9,045 retirees of the state. The Commission said that the Lagos State Governor, Akiumi Ambodi, cleared the areas owed pensioners since 2015 and had released 859 million naira to offset the accrued pension rights of 158 retirees under the contributory pension scheme in May. Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria says it recovered 740 billion naira from debtors in 2017. The corporation said it also cut its losses from 164.94 billion naira in 2016 to 16.41 billion naira in 2017 and was working with the judiciary and legislature to amend the AMCON Act for more efficiency. Former Director General Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry Dr. Chijoke Ikechuku says the naira will gain strength against the dollar when the Nigeria-China currency swap takes effect. Ikechuku explained that the swap is expected to reduce pressure on the dollar as letters of credit and other valid payments for imports from China will be in the Chinese currency. Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria says 23 industrial development centers across the country will be transformed into world-class enterprises clusters for rapid economic development, job and wealth creation. The agency set the centers established to carry out technical appraisal of loan applications, industrial extension services and entrepreneurial training would be revived to accelerate Nigeria's industrial growth and position the country as a hub of trade facilitation in West Africa. For details of these and other stories, log on to our website, nan.ng.